So we've been talking about copper and bronze, and one of the key questions would be, how do you actually make this stuff? Um, this is a sample of malachite, which is a copper carbonate sample, and, and this was one of the original ores that was used to make copper and bronze. Now the key to making copper uh, ore is that this, because it's a copper carbonate, we have to get the carbonate out of it, or the CO3. Uh, and the way we do that is we're gonna heat this up. Now, if you heat up malachite, then you can drive off the CO2, but that leaves you still with copper oxide. And so to reduce that copper oxide, you have to have a form of carbon monoxide. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this crucible, which is I've crudely made out of a piece of charcoal, when we heat that up, the charcoal is going to actually uh, decompose and form carbon monoxide. And that carbon monoxide then is going to help reduce the remaining copper oxide to just pure copper. Or in this case, probably a copper with some impurities in it, whatever was in the malachite. So let's go ahead and try this. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of charcoal, carved up a little notch in it, and I've taken some of this malachite and flaked it off. So now I'm going to take a torch and start heating it up. And so to do that, I'm going to have to get this sample very, very hot, so I'm going to put on a glove to protect my hand, and we will start heating it. Now you can see fairly quickly that what happens is that the malachite is turning pretty quickly into a, um, a reddish material. Now, it usually takes a few seconds for the, or a few minutes actually, for this to turn. There it goes, it's starting to react. You can tell it's reacting because it'll actually start to flow or bubble. There it goes. So now you can see in there there's a little puddle, and that puddle is actually copper. So I've managed with just heat and charcoal to turn malachite into copper. So we'll let this cool for a second, and then I'll pull it out, and you can actually see that it's metallic. So we're going to take some tongs now that it's cooled and see if we can get it out of this. There it comes. And there's our little ball of copper. You can sort of see on the back side of it, there's that coppery color. I could take this now with a hammer and beat it out, and it would be a, a piece of metal. Okay, so here's our sample of copper that we just made in our crucible, and I'm gonna put it on top of this piece of steel and see if I can actually hammer it out. So you can see that I've actually now got a piece of malleable copper. Had to knock off some of the carbon. All right, and so now you could beat this into whatever it is that you wanted to make. Say uh, a plow or a scythe or something that could harvest wheat and then that enabled you then to have hunter-gatherers settle down and start living in one place because they could cultivate wheat. All thanks to this one little observation.